Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I am Jeremy, and tonight I have the Benromic, the Kara Gold. This one is a combination of Kara Gold barley and Benromic's original slightly peated barley as well. Coming in 11 years old, how will this live up to other Benromics I've tried? I'll let you know when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, so this one coming in at 11 years old, 46% ABV, non-chill, filtered, no added color. Like I said, a combination of barley here. Um, Kerrigold barley, here's the stats on it, um, combined with their lightly peated. They peat to about 11 or 12 ppm at Ben Romick. Uh, let's see how this is on the nose. So as you may expect, really nice, sweet, malty characteristic to this. Definitely get like a frosted flake. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, the Frosted Mini Wheats even, those uh, definitely smell that on the nose here for sure. Nice and sweet. Slightly tropical as well. I would say definitely like a grilled pineapple. Get a little bit of like um, an apple note, maybe like Golden Delicious apple. Really nice kind of smoked pear aspect to this as well. Really nice on the nose. Maybe a little bit of kiwi fruit in there. Really like nice and delicious, well nice balanced. And a little bit of that funkiness, a little bit of that peat smoke perhaps coming through very, very faint, but you do get this like kind of funky aspect to these recent Ben Romick um, bottlings that I've been trying lately. You know, we've all heard it before, you know, Ben Romick has been coined, you know, the, the, the Campbelltown of Highland, you know, the, the Springbank of Speyside. And it is because you're getting this like kind of funky aspect with their peat. Really, really nice. Let's go palette. So on the palate, all of those characteristics are carrying over those fruit notes. The tropical fruit, the pineapple, that smoked pear, that kiwi, apple, definitely gets like that sweetness. Honey, for sure, lots of honey notes on the palate and on the finish. I'd say very, very mild in the spice. A little bit of cinnamon kick, not too overwhelming. Pretty nicely balanced, I would say. Maybe that like yeah, that peat characteristic, that funkiness is coming in like a kind of like a damp hay on the finish as well. Nice viscosity. Finish, I'd say medium, medium long. Finish, I'd say slightly drying perhaps, but not taking away from the overall experience. Really good complexity, nice like kind of mild smokiness to it. Overall, really nice, really enjoyable. Did a great job of integrating this um, Kara Gold uh, barley. And yeah, like Ben Romick has been making a statement in this last little while with these really good releases coming out. They've got this, you know, hands-on, low production, uh, high attention to detail distillery, and they're making great products like this one. Really, really good. Uh, huge thanks to Rob Whiskey in the Six for lending me this bottle for review. Score-wise for me on this one, a very solid 87 out of 100. Uh, for value, uh, I don't really add value if I don't purchase the bottle myself, but prices on these, I think around 80-ish to 85 Canadian dollars is what you're looking for for a bottle like this. I think it's definitely worth it for that price for what you're getting, you know, the 11 year old age, age statement. It does say distilled and bottled. So it does have an 11 year old age state on it. 46, all the good things. Um, yeah, let me know. Have you tried this version of Ben Romick before, the Kara Gold? And if not, do you have a favorite Ben Romick uh, expression that you tried? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Really much appreciate it. Have a good one.